Hey guys, it's Mel, and this week I am starting one of those back to school videos like every other person on the internet. And I'm doing the five tips for someone entering high school or like transferring high school, whatever you want to call it. But five tips for high school. And number one is don't overreact. Like, don't go in, like, and worrying and, like, thinking that, like, you have to be this big, like, person or, like, you have to, like, make it look like you're all, like, oh, I know what I'm doing, but, like, it's okay. Just, like, stay calm. Like, go to the first day of school. Like, usually if you're a freshman, they have orientation that you can go to so that you're not intimidated by any of the older students. But also, like, it's good, like, if you know people in the older grades, that's, like, another plus. Like, it helps you, like, stay calm. And number two is ask for help if you need it because I remember like my freshman year I did not know where some of my classes were because we have three floors so I was like I did not know which wing I had to go down I didn't know which doors certain numbers were some hallways go left to right some go right to left but if you need help just make sure that like they're not going to make fun of you because you don't know where your class is in the first week of school just make sure you know that number three is stay on top of your work I mean, whether this is you actually doing your homework, you actually not doing your homework, whatever it may be, just like make sure you understand what you're doing so that when you get to class, it's not like, uh, I, I didn't do it, so I don't understand. Like, you need to be able to work with it so that, like, you don't fail or don't do bad. I mean, I did that for a while. Not not a good idea. Just just don't do it to yourself, man. Um, step four, or tip four, not step, what am I saying? is have a plan like I mean after orientation or after like the first week you should know like oh this is the quickest way to get to like this classroom and like oh like if I want to go out to lunch today I'm not going to go out to lunch tomorrow like no like have an idea of what you're doing so like every day you're not trying to figure out oh which way do I want to get to my class which way do I want to do this like just have an idea because it makes everything kind of go a lot smoother and like not not work that makes sense and the last tip is tip number five, which is it will go by fast. Like, don't worry about it. Some people, like, dread going in high school. They're like, oh, it's going to be, like, forever. And, like, it's going to be the worst. It's going to be terrible. Yes, it's going to be sucky a lot of the days. It's going to suck a lot. But maybe you'll have that one class. Maybe you're an artist person. You're going to have your one art class today. Or you're going to have that one class you love. I personally, I love my gym class. And I love my art classes. Like, I'm taking the ceramics this year. So I'm excited. That's, like, the one highlight of the day that I have and like there will be things that will help you get through the day but when you look at it like I'm already going into my junior year and it feels like yesterday I was a freshman so honestly it goes by pretty quickly so don't like forget that and don't think that it's gonna like drag on for like million millions of times because it doesn't and that's pretty much all I have for tips for high school, if you have like any other questions you need answered if you're going to high school, like you just leave them in the comments below. Like I won't mind answering them. I mean, I am going to be a junior. It's kind of scary to say, but do whatever you wish. Like you know, like this video up if you are going into high school or if you're in high school. Some of you aren't, but it's okay if you aren't. And until next Monday, I hope you get it, got it, good. Bye. Uh, 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 uh,